that was one of the things that just kind of reinforced with me that you need a group of peers that you can be comfortable with and that you can trust. Got back from Investor Fuel about a week ago, um, and I haven't gone over the takeaways I had. Um, so some of the takeaways I had. Um, first, and some of these aren't really takeaways, they're more just reminders, things I was reminded of. First, we need to have a group of peers that we can connect with, that we can bounce ideas off of, that understand what we're going through, that understand um, similarities, the differences, our struggles, um, and how important that is. It's a community, I guess. Um, you need to have a community that you can connect with, that you trust, that you can get up and share your losses, share your downspout, your down parts, and get strength back from them. Um, have that trust and that relationship with them. Um, there was somebody, a good friend of mine, that uh, presented at Investor Fuel that had a really, really rough fourth quarter. I had some really bad shit happen. And um, anytime stuff like that happens, we tend to look inward and blame ourselves or think bad about ourselves or whatnot. Um, and I'm not saying he was doing that, but we have a tendency to do that as people. Uh, but man, when you get up and you're, you lay that out there and people go, dude, that was me two years ago. That was me four months ago. That was me 10 years ago, whatever the case, man, that feels, feels, takes a load off your shoulders because you feel, oh, I'm not alone. So that was one of the things that just kind of reinforced with me that you need a group of peers that you can be comfortable with and that you can trust. Second reinforcement, if you're going to grow, you better be uncomfortable. It's going to happen. Okay. You're not going to grow and be comfortable. You have to accept you're going to be uncomfortable. Amy and I got up on stage for a few minutes because we're vendors this time at Investor Fuel for Pete. And, um, you know, it's, it's not that big a deal. I mean, people get up in front of hundred thousand people, you know, Super Bowl's next week and there's, I mean, millions upon millions watching people, um, sing the national anthem or play or whatever. But for us, I mean, that was a kind of a big deal. And Amy told a story and she rocked it. She did great, but she was so nervous beforehand. Have to be uncomfortable to grow. Third reinforcement, you have to be a giver. Okay. Investor Fuel, every single meeting gives a biggest giver award to somebody in the gold group, somebody in the platinum group, and then a vendor. And for the first time, Amy and I were get, voted on as being a biggest giver we were for the vendor. And that was a pretty freaking cool thing for us because when we went, we didn't go with any big asks. You know, we weren't going saying, oh, we've got this problem in our business. How do we solve this? How do we do that? We went and just had a mentality of what can we do to help people? How can we provide value? Um, were we a vendor for Pete? Yes, but a lot of our conversations, most of them had nothing to do with Pete. They were helping people with this or that, sometimes personal things, just providing insight because, you know, we haven't had the most extraordinary life with these huge downs and these huge highs like some have but you know what that doesn't mean our experiences aren't valuable that people can't connect with them they can't understand them and the same goes for you okay so find a group of peers that you can connect with that you can trust be a giver and be willing to be uncomfortable it's going to help you grow